day and a half. Oh, it's it probably going to take longer than that. It, it would be a nightmare to listen to. What are you doing, Azula? Are you reaching out towards oh, yeah. me? Azula is my cat for anybody that doesn't know. Phoenix is also fucked off. I don't know where he went. He's my other cat. But Azula, occasionally, she's laying in her bed and she reaches out a little pause towards my keyboard, towards my hand, and she's just fucking unbearably cute. She got little, like, snow white uh, paws. I was going to say claws because I saw her, like, lining up to jump off the table then. And, like, she normally just, like, drags her claws down my leg as she's jumping off the table. And it hurts like shit. She did it earlier. I can normally just, like, breathe through the pain. Um, I'm, I guess, kind of used to it. But tonight, oh, God, did she, like, she must have got the right angle or something. And it fucking hurt. Because, yeah, I don't know. Something about, like, growing up with cats and stuff is you just kind of, like, adjust to the continuous, like, stabbing <laughs> That they just do throughout their life. Please drive straight. Holy shit. Or don't. Fucking hell. Uh, yeah, so that's our first mine. We've depleted that. Of shale. It's got nitrate in it. It's still fine for nitrate. Um, that ain't helping my bike. Wow. Narrowly missing that. I can hear an auger or something. His grim's pretty close. I don't know how deep he's making this. Pretty over, over the top. Um, yeah, refill that and pick it up. All right. Uh, you look like you can't be picking up something. What are you dropping? Or sand. Oh, yeah, no, Good. I'm just... I'm collapsing. Because yeah. this is just so big, I'm just like... I sort of give up on trying to be careful. Would you like a medical kit, or would you like me to do any stacking? Uh, I also brought you some hobo stew. I figured your person um, might be hungry. No, actually, I recently uh, I had some food and drinks um, that was oh, yeah, left in the car. That. I'm going to go put your stuff in the car. I will stack whatever I can see in there that needs stacking. Yep. Uh, yeah, I think yeah. I've got more on you. No, no. Uh, it's pretty much just sand and clay and yeah. a bit of stone um, at the moment. This? The stones, yeah, these, it's not really. I'm not can't. actually properly mining yet. I'm like I said, I'm just um, even the medical mapping stuff, out how big this is going to be. The sand there, yeah, yeah. This isn't going to stack into too many. And by but the it'll looks of it, it's going to be big. I did say it did have like multiple nodes, plus it had other variants and stuff. I just don't only go that wide. I have before. But, like, I'm not that generally enthusiastic. You've seen all the little mines that I've had. You know, I didn't even bring my rock busters. I was going to help you mine for a bit. Um, that would have helped. Um, fucking hell. Yeah, no, rock busters would have been amazing because that would have helped me get more resources in one so hit. So we've got nitrate as well. Yeah, well, once you get lead, you get nitrate. As soon as I saw the lead, I'm like, we'll have nitrate here as well. Yeah. All right, I'm going to start on the shale and iron end. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm going to put my turret down in this corner and go for it. Um, just get this down a little bit. Like that. Right. Just make it a little wider. That looks good there. So if you crouch down, it's quieter. So I know this is right. like terrible for fucking sound, but you can at least improve it a little bit by crouching. I actually worked this one out when I fucking got my... Uh, what do you call it? Helixes pierced in my ears, and I couldn't wear um, a headset for was it um, ten months? So I got four piercings at once, and um, yeah, turns out that you can crouch and shit gets quieter. And the only reason why I discovered that was because I didn't want to play with no sound, do run out but it was field, disturbing my cat's arm. sleep. Good way of knowing when to go back to base. Ironically, I was going to bring more fuel. I'm yeah, like, no. I also yeah. almost took more fuel from your base. I'm like, no, I don't need to do that because I made stacks at mine too. But I will take off some of this. And that way we can fucking start getting some shale so I can stack up some of the others. It's kind of like getting a scraping of everything, which isn't really great when you're mining something. I know. To be fair, I'm the person that does the mining on all the servers. So, 
I'm the one that has the experience with do not mine too many things at once because it fills up your inventory and you just do not have that kind of space. Once you scrape off the top layer of most places, you don't have to worry about clay unless you're working in the green area. But you still have to work with crushed sand and rock and it can really be a fucking problem. So, like, it'll take up your inventory, especially crushed sand does not stack so it takes up your inventory in a way that you just don't have space after a while. Rocks do stack. Shale stacks. A bunch of stuff does stack. It's just that you don't want to have, like, I don't know, 10 different stacks of different materials that you kind of need to always have one line, one slot, I should say, one slot available for this other mineral. Plus you get gems and shit, so... You know, you kind of want to make sure that you're not fucking up with that. Honestly, if I've got time, if I had a gyrocopter, honestly, we got to be making a gyrocopter so soon because um, I need to be able to like fly back and forth. I'm one of these people that like, I'll forget one little thing that's like crucial to the entire operation. In this case, my mining things, which I've now got like, I don't know, four of them. We now have this whole area where I could be getting a variety of different resources and in like excess it gives you 20 percent extra on top of whatever you have mined and so it's really like worth your time to have them because you can get more resources from what already exists um and also for the amount of time that you're mining and stuff so it's worth it um and i left them at home <coughs> sorry knowing full and well that this is what i was coming to do i left them at home and I'm like, if I could just fly, like, if I could just get on the road and go up and back down to where I need to be and then go up and back down to where I am again instead of going all throughout the fucking rocky areas and all that shit, then I would be very, very quickly back and forth without any problems. But I can't. Um, out of interest, Grim, what's your levels with, like, the gyrocopters and stuff yet? Cause I can, I've got some of the materials, so I just can't make it because I don't have the vehicle stuff. Mm. Also, don't want to be working into metal oh, too much because okay. it's so really you, loud. You want to know if I can make it or not? Yeah. Well, it's ten that. books away from it. God damn. That it's still not seems that, like so not, much. Oh, it isn't. It really isn't. Where do you find them? Um, traders. Are they a vehicle book? Yeah. Okay. Because yeah, I just don't fucking see him. Like, obviously, like, I don't really have perks into, you know, the section that says, like, get vehicles and stuff, but, like, I still don't get to see them. I made a hole in that wall over there yeah, that's somehow. because I'm pretty much the one going around trying to take them. Hmm. No, I didn't even see them when I was, like, trying to... I, I went for a run around and bought a bunch of variety of books just before. And, um... I still don't even, like, see any. Can you not get into your bed, Phoenix? All right, hold up, hold up. Let me help you. Oh, shit, it's all right. It's just a headset. Calm down. Phoenix is very flighty. Come here. If I lift you up, you can actually... Come here. Yeah. You can get um, in the bed if I lift you up. There you go. On, is once go I go back to base, I might go for another round of the traders. Because I did see some books. All right. Vehicle books. They should um, restock tomorrow. So the thing is, um, yeah, they'll restock tomorrow, Grim. Um, oh, okay. I'd, so. Yeah. No worries. Sweet. The, the thing is, like, Phoenix normally waits until, like, well, he doesn't. He pouts and, like, has a shit bit about it. But he normally wants to sleep on me. And he can't while I'm streaming. So I have a cat bed for him. He doesn't really like the cat bed, but he will kind of like passive aggressively sleep in it. But he normally, at the end of my oh, streams, I give him like really oh, yeah. big cuddles for like having to wait all of a couple of hours to not get cuddles. And um, unfortunately, when I picked him up then, I think he thought he was getting end of stream cuddles. And he full on like locked his claws in and was not going to let go. And I'm like, oh God, I have every single claw on this cat locked into my shoulder. Um... And he did not want to let go. And now he's like, I put him with the bed and he's like, I don't know about this. Like, I, th I thought I was going to lay on you. And he's like kind of happy, but he's kind of shitty. Like, I don't know. And just is. 
because Phoenix has kind of like grown up with either either I had enough space on my desk that I could put like a towel or a blanket or something small in front of me between me and the keyboard so I could kind of like pivot back a little bit or alternatively Phoenix like sleeps on me um and so yeah he's always had somewhere he can like sleep that's up against me and now he kind of can't do it because I can't sit in that position while I stream and you guys wouldn't hear me through him to the microphone so it's also a clarity quality thing as well um and so he has to just be patient and most of the time he just has to sleep in front of the heater because it's been winter it's been fine but now that it's kind of like getting like warmer and some days are cold and some days are warm he's kind of like impatiently wants to sleep on me and um he's really just got to wait it's like i think turning 14 or some shit this year i think he's either 14 or he's turning 14 i can't remember i'll look it up it's it's not long from now it's literally like next month he um has his birthday but like yeah he's like such a particular old man quite funny um but yeah i don't know azula on the other hand um she didn't when we got her she hadn't had like a lot of like handling from the people we got her from um so she kind of like didn't want to be held she didn't want to lay with people didn't really want to be patted much stuff like that so we had to work on her a lot for months and she's pretty good now but she prefers a bed she prefers her bed or at least like something that she can lay on like a piece of paper or something she prefers that over like being on us but then again she's extremely plushy um so i imagine it's also a warmth issue as well i imagine it's quite uncomfortably hot for her to just like um lay it up against us um especially like when you get into like the summer months and stuff like that at the moment through winter sometimes she is cold enough that she will make an effort to come over and like cuddle and sometimes it's just like nah now, even if she does cuddle with us she gets so fucking warm and we have to actively help her like brush out her excess coat all the time like almost every single day like we get out of the shower and while we still got like wet hands we, like walk over to her and start like wipe brushing her down just to try to like help with lifting some of her fucking undercoat because she's got so much she's like a russian blue cross so her coat is like ultra thick or dense i should say dense because it's it's not so much thick it's very fine it's just there's a lot of it um it's very nice though it's very soft but yeah she has a lot of fur to give i'll say that much she's got a lot of excess fur to give and boy does she give that extra fur willingly sometimes like you just like walk past her and she like just manages to shock so much it's quite funny and phoenix is like a very light breed like coat and stuff so i've i've gone from like exceedingly like little cat fur to a lot of cat fur and it's a bit of an adjustment oh yeah grim's getting zombies over there he's probably got a fucking walking forward for all i know I should probably like dig myself out of this hole before I get oh, too yeah. deep. Got a hoard. I figured that's what you had. It's all right, though. I figured you're fine. There wasn't much I could do about like getting out of the hole that I was in for that. Um, how am I going to stuff stacks recipes? Yeah, stack that up. All right. And give me Back some extra mine. space. Um, I might come over and grab some stuff to stack off you. Um, yeah. All right that away and grab an actual weapon to run around with. Ah. Ah. Have you got any no, stuff no. I can stack? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, that's actually a lot. Let's see how I go for space. Everyone's been over here for a while, but it should have a lot of, like, stone and... Yeah. yeah. Thank you. All right, recipes. He should have, I figured, stone, crushed sand, and maybe clay. I can't stack clay or crushed stone. So whatever I've stacked That's at the moment I mean. is about good Ooh, enough. This is going to be really, really big. Yeah. Well, I'll go see what I can put in your car. Because like, I might legit go for a quick run back to base and get the fucking rock busters. 
Because I figure that this is going to be something we're going to do next time anyway. Uh, let's oh, put yeah. some fuel on that. Let's repair his car just because. Uh, it also needs more fuel, so I'll see about that. Let's see. Um, can I just... Whatever I've got can go in there. Give me my wood back. That was not free to give. Um, I don't really need stacks of stones, but it's fine. I'll figure it out. Let's see. That can stack. This stuff can go in there. That can go in... I can't stack up a lot of that stuff. Let's see. Anything else come up bigger than it should have? Like this? No. Um, I have got fucking gold and stuff. I just would need to make sure I didn't auto stack that in there because the gold and diamonds and whatever I dig up is my own fucking commission for digging. Um, put that in there, put that in there. Stack this recipes. Now, this might actually... No, that's the last one I've got. I was going to say, I'm like, I might have others on me. I wasn't quite sure. I'll put this away, then I'll give it some fuel, then I'll head off to my base and come back. Um, I will also have a look at what I've got in the way of... How much fuel does this thing take? Ah, that'll do it. I'll have a look at what I can do in the way of fucking making vehicles and shit. I haven't really looked at that yet. I think it's under here. Scrim should be far advanced to me. It's, oh, there's a normal book, sorry. Um, vehicles. Yeah. He's got 10 more books, so he must be at like 90 odd. I've got that. I think I can make that. Um, and you put those two together and that's where you get yourself a gyrocopter and Grim doesn't use them. I do. Uh, Nick sometimes does. Um, for sure. As soon as it's available, I'll fucking have one and I'll be flying. Cause here's the thing is right now, if I was to fly from here, to there it would be so quick it would be so direct the moment i have to go around so much stuff because there's a bunch of like wobbly hills and all sorts of shit that i just can't be fucked dealing with like if i go straight ahead up past jen that's actually one of the more direct ways to get out of here but i do have to go up and over like a stupid little ridge i should also put my light on god damn that does not need to be that reflective I love the fact that there's stuff like that that's got like this Ooh, ultra reflective up. back. <laughs> oh yeah. I was gonna say I'm like, had you had many the whole time you were there doing your mining? No, that's my first one. That's not bad. She was my first. Look. <laughs> Look, so long as you blew her away. That's the important oh. thing, Grim. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, You're trying to be so tame, I can hear it. I know, I know. Yeah, look, I appreciate it. Um, if anything, I'm more the fucking bad example. Um, oh, both us are. Yeah, I know. Also, how's your tiredness going and shit? Oh, man. Like, Still? Yeah, see, that's the thing. Like, with the Blood Moon, that was really relaxing. Um, two this is relaxing. So, I mean. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You see, I don't mind like mining and stuff like that i do find it relatively like enjoyable to just yeah. chill out and do the only problem is i know that from like a listening standpoint it's like one of the shittiest things that there is because you can't fucking turn it down oh yeah look i fucking cut down a tree again i gotta stop doing that i gotta stop taking out the natural fucking trees in this area no, i have I really a fucking like forest because i sort of just sit there and i just mine away well yeah boop that I have a cat fur on my nose. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't fall down. Don't fall down the other one. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh. What the fuck? Grim, if you had have seen any of what just happened in the, like, the last two minutes, or at least last minute, you would have been like, what the fuck? So I was, I was driving along, and you know how there's like a part that has like the, um, uh, the two chasms on the side of the road? And it's really mm -hmm. easy to fall in. So anyway, I got really close to one side and I had a cat fur up my nose. So I was trying to scratch and um, I immediately like tried to auto correct where I was driving and ended up like driving straight down into the other chasm. But I bumped into a tree and then I immediately landed and then rolled over a dog. <laughs> yeah. Not. Like, what the fuck? I need to go up this one because that ridge is too high over there. I still have the cat for my nose, fuck's sake. They'll be up there all fucking you week know, it's till I funny. shower. Sometimes I'll I, shower later. Come on. It's not often, but every now and again, I actually do go back and watch the streams. Yeah. Um, Come on. Come on. 
This is when you wish it boosted. Yeah, every so often there's something that's weird enough that um, I'll sit there during editing and actually like watch the whole section of. Because I, I see bits and pieces of it while I'm editing stuff. So that's why sometimes you'll hear me like four to six hours later after a stream in Discord, I'll comment something related <laughs> to uh, the stream. Yeah. And that's normally because I've found it during editing. Fucking yeah. hell. Can I go any further down this fucking hill? I might as well just take oh, the fucking road streamer. up at this point. Well, you will start okay. getting them, especially since you're doing it at night. All right, fucking hell. Oh, man. If I could just get this goddamn uh, cat fur out of my fucking right. nose, I would actually be maybe comfortable. How's the fuel? I wouldn't yeah, be, no, but... Going good. You know what I should do is I should take back two canisters of fuel and just put that in his truck, see if he notices. It'd be kind of funny if he did, didn't, kind of thing. All right, yeah, that mushroom problem's got Yeah, I'm got pretty him. much going to do this until the fuel runs out, and then I'm going to go back to base. All right. Um, I'm going to need actual fuel on me, so I'll take a couple of stacks. Uh, let's go upstairs and grab... My fucking rock busters and some of that too actually because why the fuck not if i'm gonna do this i might as well be getting fucking some xp for it tell you what i'm gonna do this properly next week so give me this i might need that many but maybe not maybe only like a thousand bucket let's take the whole hog there let's go let's go two thousand at that i don't mind that i've got those on me i can put them away properly i'll put them in here for now not the right place but it'll do these can come with me rock busters can come with me that is not enough fuel for what I'm going to go do. So put that away. Um, put that away as well. Give me a whole stack of five and I guess maybe the two open ones. That should do it for fuel. I've got my drone. I don't have that much ammo. That shouldn't really be much of a problem. I'll have the drone and worst case scenario I can, I can use other stuff. Let's see. Give me that. Now... The other thing I could do is I could also remove that from my inventory, which would give me one additional slot. I could also whip out the actual car that I've got and drive over there with that, but it's slow as piss, so I'd rather not. That's going pretty well. I'm going to leave that be. All right, let me grab some food before I forget again. Not that one, this one. Give me half of those. I'll do it. Give me one of them now. That would be enough food and drink because they kind of do both and they do healing, so that's kind of like a triple thing. Let's go around and quickly grab all these because they look like they're kind of two, two are ready to go. Um, I'll get this one and I'll put that just in this workbench. I don't want to be carrying extra water on me. There we go. I'll do it. I don't have to worry about that then. I'll have all this food, all this, well, food, water, fuel. Um, I can stack my stuff. It'd be great. Head back over to Grim. There's no real easy way to get here. I have to, at some point in time, I have to go through the wastelands areas, and I hate that. They don't really get much of a choice with that. Like if I go too far this way, I'm going to end up in the wastelands. Don't cut the tree down. I kind of have to go along this road and kind of skinny it along there, but it takes ages for me to get there. Please stop chopping the fucking trees down. Fucking hell. I understand this thing has got giant ass blades on the front of it, right? But... The way that it seems to just like slide into a tree and just fucking destroy stuff. The least it could do is at least kill the zombies in the same kind of method. Don't you wobble at me, girl. I can see you wobbling at me. Fucking hell. This, <laughs> this bike legitimately is just going everywhere. It's like, oh, I'm a, I'm a motorbike, but I'm going to fucking dance, dance, dance all this fucking way home. Well, we're not even going home either. We're just going out to the fucking mines. I guess it's excited to go mining. <laughs> Honestly, it's the thing I do the most. There was a thing back there I could dig up. I actually do the mining a lot. So mining, building, oh, shit. I farming. Think she screamed. Um, extra XP. Extra XP um, for sure. You know, I cannot get this cat fur out. It's like it's gone deep. You know the worst part is actually, I used to I have fucking. Nope, nope. She definitely did. I had quadruple nose piercings that used to prevent me from getting fucking cat furs out. And now I don't because I had to remove them because, like, no matter how much I kept them clean and, like, look after them, they just, like, would not stop fucking smelling no matter how long I'd had them for. 
Um, and now I don't have them, but I still can't get a fucking cat fur out of my nose. It's infuriating. Hmm. Any cat That's owner sweet. knows my plight right now. I basically need to, like, engulf my whole oh, nose and or are. face in water to remove it. I heard something fucking screaming from back here. Cactus. Oh, my back is down to 11%. Hmm. All right, I'm nearly back. All right, here we go. Let's get... Where the fuck did my bike go? Oh, no. Holy shit. I just fell through the crust of your fucking mind, Grim. Uh, yeah. Either that or it tried to show me that there was a thing there. If if nothing else, you should definitely come back and watch that one, Grim. I definitely will. I, I literally drove up to this part... And on my screen, like, legitimately, you can look on my screen right now, and there's this whole, like, there's this whole fucking section of, like, top part. And if I walk forwards, I'm, mm. I'm under I'm under everything. <laughs> and if I come up. Yeah, that's, that's where I mind out. Yeah. Yeah, but <laughs> that's what I drove into. <laughs> and it's, like, this platform over here that you can just see on the right angle. Do you see it? Yeah, right there. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, but oh, if I go sweet. down further, it's not there. So does that mean yeah, yeah. zombies can or can't see me? I'm not too sure. I think they can still sense it. Uh, sense I, I'm getting a there. lot of, like, rocks appearing back beside me. I'm clipping through all sorts of shit. Welcome back, Trill. I am I'm breaking physics in this game because I just drove through this. Uh, okay, so... Wee. Oh, if I jump... Oh, maybe no. not. All right, but if I go over here... It's rocks. How am I going for bags? This is this is wild. Oh. This is something. Right. <laughs> oh man, it has been weird. So I ended up taking some like rock bus. Well, I've got rock buses with me. I don't want to take them just yet. They're actually like really close to the fucking end of stream. But um, yeah, I will. I'll probably take them. God, that looks terrible back over there, and on the path. Uh, the path near Trader Jen's. The mountains, your buddy mini bike glitch through the ground. Yeah, there's a few parts throughout the map that are kind of dodgy. So if you're ever on the right angle to something and something goes clear and you can see through it, or you get certain parts on the map and stuff that do that, just fucking get away from there. Because you can end up like permanently kind of falling through that spot uh, basically forever. If not, get glitched in there. Um, it doesn't happen too often. I've heard a few people say that it's something to do with the host's game um kind of like like having an issue um i'm the one that generally hosts my service so i'm also the one that sees them and stuff like this like grim can't see this but he's the one that's minded out so this whole part here oh, fuck off cactus uh this whole part here isn't here so if i jump on this it's not here and you can kind of just see on the right angle like that. So yeah, I could imagine this would be f quite fun. But yeah, Grim's actually mined this out. So all it is is it hasn't caught up for me for some reason, which makes no sense because I was literally here. I, I was digging. Let me go up and around. I, I can kind of see where it's breaking here, right there. So if I go around, here should be safe, but here isn't. This should drop down about here. There we go. Yeah. So yeah, I was mining down there. So I was here. He's just taken off this whole top barrier and it hasn't, like, caught up. I don't know. Uh, it does stuff. The games always do stuff. At least it's not, like, the ones where you can literally see, like, all the way to the ground, like, kilometers down and you just, like, fall to your goddamn death forever and get stuck in there. Those are pretty much the fucking worst. Um, whoops. <laughs> I'll be over here cutting this tree down. That's my alibi. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Sometimes stuff is legitimately supported by the weirdest shit, by the way. <laughs> Poor Grim. I'm sure he was trying to collapse that anyway. <laughs> he was trying to collapse it anyway, but I just feel like if you take like, I almost took that off in time for that to be the same catalyst. That'd be quite funny. You can also walk over certain parts and it puts enough weight on things to collapse into. 
because I'm kind of like walking around out here. I could be helping him mine, but I've got all my rock busters and I've got my um, learning elixirs. These are the rock busters, by the way. I know I haven't had them on me much when you've been here. But yeah, what it does is basically it gives you 20% extra harvest for like six minutes. You can stack them up to three so you can get yourself a little bit of extra time with that. So basically you just get increased amounts of wood or stone um, when you're already harvesting with mining tools. I pair that with some learning elixir drink. So that also gives me some extra XP while I'm doing that. So I get 20% extra XP and 20% extra resources while I'm mining. So it's quite good. It's quite efficient because basically like if I'm going to potentially fill up my whole inventory with stuff, I kind of want to fill up my whole inventory plus my drone with stuff in the same amount of time, which is what it will do. Um, also, now the sun's coming out. It's kind of, that part still hasn't shown. But yeah, Grim is just down there at the moment. I figured there's only like a, there's a couple more minutes before like end of stream. So I figure instead of me starting with my rock busters in case they carry on and I forget, because um, it's very rare for either of us to just start out in the middle of somewhere. We normally take the time to go home. Um, but I think we'll both be starting out here, so that should be fine. Um, but yeah, I just figured I might as well repair some of my stuff and yeah, I can watch Grim do some, do some mining. See if this needs to be reloaded. No, no, it doesn't. One other thing I was going to do too. Um, what's something just sound like it toppled over behind me? Maybe it did. I don't know. Like. You guys can't see what I'm up to. After up to super shifty stuff, that's what I'm up to. I I know you snipe. Me. I know. Um, let's see. Let's have a look at this as a channel. I I'm I'm always up to something. Maybe I don't know. I'm just having a look at something real quick. I figure you guys can kind of see Grim through that, so it's all right if I do this. I'm just clicking on settings and shit. In the background. Nothing nothing fancy. Nothing special. Um is it come with bad and grave news. What do you not have the whole rest of the day off? Is that what this news is of? Um well, did, I was gonna say I'm like, did that just play? I saw something highlight up then. Um Holy crap, that's so much nitrate. Um, stream will be ending in a few minutes, Grim. A couple minutes. Oh, yep, okay. Let me just uh, wrap this up then. Yeah, I'm pretty much just going to log out out here so that we can kind of like just start from mining uh, next time. Yep, yep, yep. Um, um, I just want to flood out this area. Oh, good. You got a couple of minutes. Um, how's it? No, I'll miss the rest I of the stream after these next messages. Also, Grim isn't in his grave. No, Grim isn't digging his grave. He's digging resources. Although there's some glitchy fuck going on over there, so. Okay. So, yeah, this is definitely one of the hugest mines that I have seen so far. So, Grim, apparently if you shoot a glitched panel, it disappears. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, I've been doing some shifty stuff up here, Grim. I literally, like, picked up a stone, collapsed an area on top of you. I've shot some wall away. And it's been <laughs> weird. Been interesting. Uh, so you, you'll miss yeah, the rest of the stream. There. Probably because you got stuff to do, Snipe. Very likely. Damn, time um, flies by. How do I vote for the movie? So, okay, fair question. I will also hydrate before I answer that. Thank you. I do try to um, drink a fair bit of water while I'm streaming. Um, so in the Discord channel, um, I think it's called, what was it called? It's like movie something. Hold up. Whoa, shit. I forgot my mouse was not free flowing there. Um, okay. What's it called? So in the channel called movie selection under movie night, you go in there. There's a bunch of movies, 15 right. movies what they're Sweet. called, so what kind of like setting they are. Now when I come back home, um, I can actually see the area and I know exactly what I'm looking at. Yeah. Yeah, well, I know I'll be in here for like mining basically any resources I can come in contact with for sure. Um, oh, yeah. 
Uh, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll just I, leave it as that. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say, I'm, I'm going to log off in here as well, so don't stress about it, Grim. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go to just chatting, and I'll explain All the right. rest of it. Later.